I'm going to show you today how I automate my game day graphics using Photoshop and a CSV import. Uh, to start with, uh, obviously you have your, your graphic that you're going to use. And in this case, this is, this is what we've been using all season. And uh, to automate it, basically you need to decide what uh, you want to automate, what things you want to change. And um, basically for that, it's uh, if you were doing this manually, you'd open the file and what things would you change for each graphic. And for me, uh, that would be the photo, that would be this text here, game day, uh, this text right here for opponent, um, the location and time and this little sport specific logo that we have. And so there's basically uh, two ways you can uh, automate data uh, in, in Photoshop. One is text replacement. Well, there's a couple of them, but what we're using here is text replacement or um, visibility settings. So turning something on and off and replacing text. So for the logos right here, we're gonna use visibility. For the images here, we're going to use visibility, and for these, we're going to use text replacement. And what I mean by visibility is, so I have a logo for each one of these sports, and I'm basically just going to define whether or not this layer is on or off. For basketball, I want it on. You know, For volleyball, uh, I obviously want that one off. And what we do... Uh, to get this all set up is we have to define these things as variables. And so we can do that from image, variables, and define. And so in here, we've got every single layer I have in this Photoshop document. A bunch of these are not ones that I'm going to define, just the ones that I, I want to edit uh, with a CSV file. And so for example, under sport you can see all these these are all my individual sport logos and when you select one uh, you can see this got a little asterisk here that means it is defined and basically I've checked visibility and I've given it a name in this case FB for the other things like uh, like the title um, because this is a text field you can see that now we have the option to select text replacement as well so I check that and give that a title and I go through and do that for each one of the, the layers that I want to um, control. And it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward for these logos, pretty straightforward for the text replacement. Um, where it gets a little tricky um, is what I've done for these photos is I've basically created a folder. Um, and I've created two folders for every sport because odds are um, most of our sports are going to have at some point two events in a week um, with obviously the exception of football and that's only got one but swimming, basketball, volleyball, soccer they all have two and what that allows me to do then is to go in and add a photo for uh, add two different photos for the upcoming week and I'm controlling the very I could control the visibility on the actual image but every time I drag one in here I would have to redefine that so that just that defeats the purpose so I create this folder and I control the variable uh, I use the folder as a variable and control the visibility of the folder and that way I can drag anything I want into that folder uh, and it still gets updated based on the CSV file so let's take a look at the CSV file so these are all the, the, the variables in my Photoshop document. The first one you see here is called file name. And the reason that's there, and we can, I can show you that if I hide this layer, you can see there it is. This is just a text field called file name. In the actual graphic, when we're done, all said and done, that will actually be hidden and you won't ever even see it. But the reason it's there is because when we import this, we need to define a field um, that is basically um, what the data set name is. So, you know, if I come in here to, to, to you know, that's not where I want to go. If I go to variables and data sets and import oh, that is where I wanted um, and right here it is use first column for data set names 
And what that means is that um, if I used any one of these other columns for a data set name, I'd end up having duplicates, and, and that may get a little confusing. Um, so I use this. This is basically my unique identifier. It gives me a, a unique name for each file that I create in the end, and uh, it gives a unique name for the data set name. So that's what that's there for. And then here, these are our visibility settings. This, these ones are for the, the logos, the individual logos. And basically, if I've got a true in here, it means the logo visibility is on. If I have a false, it means it's off. In this case, um, this is for women's basketball. And basketball is set to true. Everything else is set to false. If I had two things set to true in here, uh, it would still work, except I would just have two things visible, which would not look good. So um, what that would end up looking like, you know, something like that, where there's just both of them are on. And so you have to watch out for mistakes like that. These other things, everything else is pretty straightforward. Title, the event, uh, for the most sports, that's opponent. For th things like track and field, maybe swimming, that might be... Um, an invitational name or, or something of that uh, that type uh, location where it is and time and then these last ones are, are my images and you can see again I've got two men's soccer two women's soccer two volleyball two cross country foot one football two swimmings two women's basketball two men's basketball and so what that allows me to do is uh, when I'm ready to uh, basically I create all this you know, at the beginning of the week, it's it's time to create my graphics. Uh, you well, let me step back right here for a minute, and and you can see I've used home game here and game day because what I'm actually doing is I'm I'm creating two versions of basically the same graphic, one to use on social media, uh, and one I use on our digital signs in our lobby, and so those will go up on Monday, and it's not obviously a game day because the game day is not till Friday or Saturday so those will say home game and as you can see right here they will also say on Friday because you know the game day ones go out that game I don't need to tell you what day it is it's today um, so that, that that also allows me to um, repurpose some content without too much too much work you know I can basically create one line and then copy it to the next and just change those quick things from game day to home game or, and add, the, add the, the day of the week and so on and so forth. And so what I'll do at the, at the beginning of the week is I'll create that, that CSV file, everything that's in there. Then I'll go through and update all these photos. I'll add a new photo for each one that I need. Uh, for example, this week I've got uh, you know two men's basketball and two women's basketball. So update all those photos. And then once that's done, we've got to close this or it's going to give me an error. Then I will come to image, variable, data sets, import, and that's a, this is select the file. This is my CSV file, and I want to replace everything that's there. Use first columns data sets, and I click OK. And now you can see that that was actually updated. And um, I can flip through my data sets, and you can see that they'll actually change. And now here's an example of home game, game day. The photo actually stays the same. It's just a slight text difference for one for social media, one for our digital signs. And so I'll just click OK. And so that, and it, set, it resets it to where it was, but all the data is loaded in. And now to get that out, I just want to go to File, Export, and actually let me do this. Let me de delete everything that's in my destination folder. And so I'm going to go File, Export, export data sets as files and this is again where the um, the file naming the, the data set name comes in handy um, I just define uh, the file naming as data set name that way it's everything's unique I'm good to go click OK and if I pull back up bridge you will see that those graphics will slowly appear and there it is there's everything I need for this week oh almost there's everything I need for this week. And uh, these are all PSDs. So at this point, if you needed to make a quick change, uh, maybe some text was too long, you could quickly um, open it up and shrink it down. 
and um, well, we'll use this one as an example. You know, say that Northwest Indian College text was just a little too long. We could open it up and select that, and and real quickly just you know shrink it down to make real quick changes, something like that. Um, and then uh, for the most part, that's pretty much pretty much it. Um, I'll make some quick changes. A lot of times I don't have to make changes and it's just boom, done, exported. Now I'll do these again and, and I've got another script in Photoshop that basically opens them and saves them as a PNG file. And I'm ready to post them on social media and on our uh, digital display boards. And it saves a ton of time. Um, I would say the, the most time consuming part is probably loading in the photos but other than that it's pretty quick it takes me uh, to create all these graphics probably about 15 20 minutes uh, at the beginning of the week and I've got graphics for social media and I've got graphics uh, for our digital display signs in the lobby so quick easy saves time and uh, that's 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 about it